you're good. This meeting of the Anderson Township Board of Zoning Appeals is hereby called to order. This board was established pursuant to Section 519.13 of the Ohio Revised Code by the Anderson Touch by the Anderson Township Trustees to provide administrative relief to any person or entity adversely affected by the Anderson Township Zoning Resolution. Will the Secretary please call the roll? Mr. Cyan? Here. Mr. Halpin? Present. Mr. Sheckles? Here. Mr. Nye? Here. Mr. Lawrence? Here. Thank you for coming to this meeting of the Anderson Township Board of Zoning Appeals. Please be aware that this meeting is audio and videotaped and may be carried live on television. First, I'll outline our procedures. The summary of the appeal is presented by the staff, then the appellant will present their case. Board members may then ask questions of the appellant. After that, all persons supporting the appeal will be permitted to testify one at a time after being recognized by the chair chairman. When those persons supporting the appeal are finished, those opposed to the appeal will then be permitted to testify and or ask questions of the board after being recognized by the chairman. All persons wishing to testify, whether for or against an appeal, may only do so after being sworn in. When testifying, each person must come forward to the podium after being recognized, speak into the microphone, state their name, address, and any affiliation with the case. All persons testifying will be limited to four minutes unless a board member requests additional time. All testimony is given to the board only. No, no comments or questions are to be directed to the appellant or anyone else in the audience. The board will only hear new non-repetitive evidence or questions. Should someone, wish to show, should, should someone wish to show support of previous testimony, they may do so by following the testimony procedures and stating their support of previous testimony. Now will all those persons who will be giving testimony today please stand, raise your right hand. Anyone else giving testimony? Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes. Thank you. I'm sorry, guys. You're fine. Good. He has a hearing. <coughs> Are there any changes to tonight's agenda? Uh, yes, there's one. Um, number five on the agenda, uh, journalization will take place at the next meeting. Um, that change, we can approve the agenda unanimous consent unless there's any objections any edits or amendments to the meeting minutes from December 7th 2023 seeing none we get it I was not here so if we could do a roll call <coughs> so I can abstain that'd be great no amendments no edits can you please get a roll call for approval of the agenda I'm sorry the meeting minutes so mr. Moved. Cyan aye mr. Halpin Aye. Mr. Sheckles? Aye. Mr. Nye? Abstain. Mr. Lawrence? Aye. And with that, we'll move on to consideration of case number 1 2024 BZA. Will the staff please read, read the report? <coughs> Thank you. Uh, tonight's case, case 1 2024, uh, the applicant is Mr. James Dugan. The property address is 6905 Patterson Road. It is zoned at B residence. Uh, tonight, the request is for three different variances. Uh, variance A is for uh, to allow an accessory structure, which is an above ground pool in the front and side yard, uh, where it is only allowed in the rear yard. And also there is a setback of zero feet, where three feet is required. Variance B is a request to allow a deck in the side yard with a setback of zero feet, where eight feet is required. Variance C is a request to allow a six foot tall privacy fence in the front and side yard where six foot tall privacy fences are only permitted in the rear, rear yard. So all three uh, variances, uh, the structures already exist on the property. Um, all the improvements do cross over the Western property line and in, onto the neighboring property, a parcel uh, 500-0352-00, which is owned by the Archbishop of Cincinnati. Um, the applicant was able to receive an easement in 2022 to use a portion of their land for the pool, deck, and fence. Uh, the easement for all improvements do run with the life of the property. Well, brief history of the property, the home was built in 1976. 
and was purchased by James Dugan in 1976 as well. There are no zoning certificates on file for the property and no active zoning or property maintenance complaints. There was a complaint filed with the Planning and Zoning Department regarding a temporary sign on the privacy fence in September of 2021. Uh, during the investigation of this complaint, uh, it was discovered that the pool, deck, and privacy fence all constructed without obtaining zoning permits, zoning certificates. Additionally, it was observed that all three improvements appeared to cross a property line with the neighboring property, as mentioned earlier, which is owned by the Archbishop of Cincinnati. Uh, based on the aerials uh, we were able to see, it appears that construction of these improvements happened between 2006 and 2010. As pre previously stated, in 2022, the applicant received an easement from the property owners of the parcel, which is owned by the Archbishop, Archbishop of Cincinnati, to allow the, the improvements to remain on their property. This is a property map of the property in question, 6905 Pattison. Um, these lines are not 100% accurate. These are estimates. This is an aerial view of the property. You can see the, the rear yard of the property or the south southern portion is very heavily wooded. Uh, there's also a creek that runs through uh, this wooded area as well, which you can see here on the topography map uh, of the property. Um, it is a rather deep uh, property, but because of the terrain, uh, it is essentially unbuildable um, because of the creek and also the steepness of the hill on the other side of the creek. Uh, the rest of the yard is relatively flat. These are photos uh, of the property taken from Pattison. This is the front of the house. <laughs> Just more, more angles. You can see on the right side of the screen there, there is, uh, th that's where the creek is located and then the hill um, torn up behind that. This is a photo of the fence that's currently there in the pool and of the deck. This is the side of the house. This is, you can see the proximity of the creek to, to the property along with the, with the terrain to, to be behind the creek there. These are, uh, this is the document application uh, provided to staff by the, by the applicant. And this is a site plan um, of the approximate locations of all the structures um, on the property with the property line uh, dashed, dashed there, excuse me. <coughs> zoomed in image of that showing the privacy fence, the pool, and the wood deck in relation to the property line. This is a this is the platted survey of the property. So variance findings. Uh, for variance A, staff is, is of the opinion that the variance would not be substantial given the, given the proximity of the house to the creek, existing conditions prevent the pool from being built in the rear yard. Uh, staff believes that the essential character of the neighborhood would not be altered and adjoining properties would not suffer a substantial detriment as a result of the variance. The location of the pool is mostly within the side yard and close to the rear yard as possible. There is also no residence on the neighboring properties that are also in close proximity to pool, deck, or fence. Three homes across the street from 6905 pass on our closest residences, and the view is shielded by the privacy, pri privacy fence. The variance would not adversely affect delivery of government services. Though the property owners may have been aware of zoning restrictions, the existing conditions when the property was purchased made it difficult to construct a pool in any other location other than the proposed location. The property's owner predicament cannot be feasibly obviated through another method other than a variance. The creek behind the existing home and small amount of space between the creek and the home make it difficult to construct a pool in any other location. The spirit and intent behind the zoning re requirement may be observed and substantial justice done by granting a variance. Because of the creek and the current, because of the creek and the current home's location, this is only the only feasible location to construct a pool. <clears throat> variance B, Is, is, is covering the deck. You can read there. 
the, the location of the deck is mostly within the side yard as with the, as is with the pool. There is also no residence in the neighboring properties that, can, that is also in close proximity to the pool, deck, or fence. So again, the homes across the streets uh, are shielded by the privacy fence. And essentially, the, the same findings uh, work for variance B as they do for variance A. Essentially, uh, the findings also <laughs> work for variance C as well, since all three items are in a relatively the same location on the property. And these are the standards to be considered. Thank you. Any questions for staff? Um, I have one. Uh, the complaint uh, of the fence sign was back in September of 2021, and now we're 16 months later. Just mm -hmm. what what happened between that extended this? I, you know, I, I wasn't here for the beginning of the complaint process. So I'm not quite sure what what led to this moment. It just took some time, I think, to kind of work out a solution to this issue this is where we ended from my understanding health has also played a role in this um so he's, mr dugan was able to come um finally at this point um again with the health permitting that he was able to i i believe if i'm remembering correctly that there were some health challenges with getting him and the application in sooner okay um my only question is about the easement i didn't see one that was actually executed by the archbishop are we satisfied that there is, in fact, an easement? We, we don't have any concerns about the authenticity of it or anything like that. Um, Gary seemed to be okay with it, so. Good enough for me. Any further questions of staff? Seeing none, will the appellant or the appellant's representative please step forward and provide any additional information? Okay. <laughs> I was okay. Is there anything else you wanted to provide? Uh, I'm sorry, I can't. I, do you mind if I step up to you? Is that okay? Is, that okay? is there anything else that you want to say about the whole? No, sir. No. Any questions for the appellant? None. None. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. Just a name and address for the record, if you, if you want a state name and name. James Dugan, okay. 6905 Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else who wishes to speak in favor of this appeal? Seeing none, is there anyone who wishes to speak in opposition to this appeal? Seeing none, do we have a motion to close the public hearing? Mr. Chair, with respect to case 1-2024, I move that we close the public hearing. Second. We have a motion and a second. Will the secretary please call the roll? Mr. Sion? Aye. Mr. Halpin? Aye. Mr. Shekels? Aye. Mr. Nye? Aye. Mr. Lawrence? Aye. Beth, is there anyone who wishes to start us off on this? Well, I, I'm okay with the uh, variance after reviewing the documents and the staff recommendations. Uh, and I believe in the case of variant C, the six foot privacy fence actually is a better solution than what would be a four foot fence in front of the pool area. Yeah, I'd add that um, this is a, a parcel that is, um, it's uniquely shaped and the parcel next door, the uh, servient parcel under the easement is what was that? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you just, okay. You ran over your time. <laughs> Sorry. That's your time. <laughs> uh, the the parcel next door is kind of weirdly shaped too. You would naturally expect it to be part of this property, and so uh, those things working together um, make it just fit in this area. It's a you know if you didn't know where the lot lines were, you'd say, oh yes, of course that side yard belongs with that house it's perfectly natural in the neighborhood so it doesn't you know um, adversely affect the character of the neighborhood or anything like that and, and all the other factors uh, other than the knowledge of the zoning uh, resolution I think uh, way in favor of the applicant so I would grant all three variances I would say given the 
obviously the topography in the back, the creek running through with essentially no backyard. There's no other place to input to put it or enjoy the yard. So I would say that that would be the best option as well, especially given the permission from the archdiocese. Um, just so you all know, Mr. Dugan's daughter is my neighbor. So I'm familiar with Mr. Dugan over the course of time. But uh, beyond that, I would, I'd be in favor of it as well. Do we have a motion? Mr. Chairman, case number 1-2024, I move that we grant all three variances, variance A, variance B, and variance C, citing the staff report as justification, this unique topography of the lot, and that the six-foot privacy fence is the appropriate uh, for this location. Second. We have a motion and a second. Will the secretary please call the roll? Mr. Sion? Aye. Mr. Halpin? Aye. Mr. Shekels? Aye. Mr. Nye? Aye. Mr. Lawrence? Aye. And with that, that uh, concludes our business for the day. Uh, your variances will be have been will be approved. I guess the next meeting will with decision and internalize it. Yeah, with talk um, upon talking with Gary, um, our legal counsel, uh, he thought it might be best for him to review um, the journalization. Um, so he thought that postponing that to the February meeting made the most sense. Um, so we will have that journalized next month um, and then get you a zoning certificate for those shortly thereafter. There's no other business for the board. I'll. Uh, 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 we do have the election of officers, um, yeah. item six. Yeah. Oh, I thought we elected officers. No, we didn't. You just stepped in. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure who, uh, it's not me. I will, de I will decline because I think there are others who haven't been. So, so typically how it's been in the past is that the, the, the board member with the expiring year mm -hmm. is typically the, the chairperson. But that's up you guys, you, you can decide who, if you want to nominate somebody else, that's fine as well. My memory is that I joined the board in 19. You're on the, and you're on the bubble. Paul was the chair. chair. Yeah. So yeah. it's his turn again, I think. If that's is what, that, is it, that right? It, it like, doesn't, it doesn't matter how there's no cause it was right or wrong. John in 20 and then, then I was in 21 and I'm you're 22, 22 and, and Steve, Steve in 23, 23 and you gotta wait. I get the waiter. I got <laughs> well, I'm, 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 a, I'm a rookie, so I would rather sit this one out and go next. I'll do it next There's year. There's really no right or wrong way Paul. of doing this. It's I second. Board. Okay. <laughs> We've got a nomination. Unless you want me to. we got a nomination in a second already. Hey, nominee. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We need a. Uh, Baptism by fire. Vice president? <laughs> do we do it? Advice? All, all three. Yeah. I, I'd like to nominate Scott for vice president. Okay. There's your training session. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Second. Scott for sure. Second. Yeah. Vice, and then secretary. Secretary, who's the secretary now? Am I the secretary? You are. Okay. All so right. I don't have to do it next year. No, okay. I'll, I'll I'll stay late if somebody wants needs to. Uh, secretary. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. <laughs> we have a motion. The second. Will the secretary please call the roll? Uh, for president, um, the nomination was for Mr. Paul Sion. Uh, Mr. Halpin. Do we really have to do it three times? Can we do one? Full slate. One motion. One vote. Okay. One motion. Full slate. For all three. Chair, yeah. vice chair. Well, I wasn't sure. For, okay, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. For all three, we'll, we'll start with Mr. Syed. Aye. Mr. Halpin. Aye. Mr. Shekels. Aye. Mr. Nye. Aye. Mr. Lawrence. Aye. And we also have a uh, training session before we break. We'll discuss. We, we discuss uh, it after we break. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that would be for... You, you no longer have to stay here. You're more than welcome. Oh, you can go. Yeah. Sorry. Watch. Yeah. <laughs> welcome to stay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, if, you're, if you really have thank nothing you. else going on in your life. Um, we thank just you need... Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, we just need dates um, and times that people are available uh, to get with Mr. Gary Powell. Um, if we want to do that during the meeting or after the meeting, that is at your discretion. Can we email? Can we do it Friday morning at like 6 a.m.? <laughs> Breakfast. Um, no, we cannot. Is, the answer. Uh, is there is there a day that works for everybody? Either the week before the February meeting or the week of. If you give me enough notice, I can do anything. Doesn't yeah. matter. 
All uh, days are equally bad. Uh, two, <laughs> uh, here's my issue. Tuesdays, I do the announcing for Turpin High School basketball. Okay. So that would be my day. So that that, so depending on their Tuesday. schedule. And I get to, well, I can tell you right now, let's see. Wednesday the, or Thursday, it sounds like it might be. You want to do the Thursday before the February meeting? Like uh, whatever day that is. 5th, January 25th, that would be after so the Thursday before. The meeting's on the 1st of uh, February. So that would be the 25th. 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 Yep. That'll, that'll work. I'm good with what okay. time? Um, what time? What time did you do it last year? Same time, like 5 30? 5 30. Just do like a regular. Uh, could we do 6 30? I got to. You just get to skip dinner. <laughs> no, I got to pick up my kid from dance at 6. Okay. Can you bring them? Can you give her the <laughs> she dances from 4 to 6. Can you give her the keys? <laughs> How long a walk is it? It's too long. Why don't we start the meeting at four thirty? I mean, but, but if, if that works, you guys. We can meet. also just come up with a couple dates. Yeah. Okay. Why don't we do that? I, I could do four thirty though. That's no. That the twenty fifth will work for everybody. Do we just have to change the time? Okay. Four thirty or six thirty would be great for me. Either one, I don't care. Four thirty. I mean, if it works for everyone else. Oh, you, you don't want to stay up late, John? I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. 4.30 on the 25th, as long as it works with Gary. I get run by everybody that's going to be around, but I think that if you want to email us other times that work for you, you can also see if there are other dates and times. I couldn't do the 23rd. I just looked at interpret schedule. That's a Thursday? The 23rd is a Tuesday. I couldn't. Next meeting. I could do any other day that week. You're going to hold the 25th. I've already got it written down. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Done. Time to be determined. So you guys will check with Gary if that doesn't work, then we'll all reply with some alternative times. Is that, or do we want alternative times right now? We can just. I think we think on issues. Sometime tomorrow, tomorrow, early next week. Or yeah, we don't necessarily have to have it in before the next meeting. I would like to, but we have to. I think last year, I think we did after the second meeting of the year, I think. So. Yeah. Okay. I'm putting it. I know it wasn't making it more important. If you have times to all, but. Greg. Hello, oh, Greg. We are still, uh, he's the new Scott Lawrence Pine John. There you go. <laughs> I'm still down one alternate, but I think we should be okay. All right. You two adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Bang that gap. <laughs> Let's get out of here. And we don't have to sign yeah, anything or anything. Done. Let's get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> I <don't think> really <laughs> do. <laughs> I called Chris today and said, do we Here's your thing of doing. One? I got to figure out what oh, I got a phone call from Jeff Nye. <laughs> <laughs> your favorite kind of phone call. About what, 2 o'clock? Yeah. Hey. And then. Yeah, I got to grab a pizza for dinner tonight. I thought I was going to eat it. Yeah, I'm going to be right on time. I get there and Yeah, how do we do? From the looks of it, 10 minutes. Yeah, just do it at 4 30, so we can take. Is helping secretary now? Yeah, we should have the next meeting of the Turbin basketball game. <laughs> well, Why couldn't we? we have as long as we give appropriate notice, the public can come up and they can.